We are back for another Norm McDonald reaction, baby. I, I gotta tell y'all, man, saving these and waiting to watch these just to react to them is rough. Because I just enjoy the heck out of these. We are uh, checking out Best of Jokes Part 2, Part 1. I freaking loved it. I'm loving, it. I'm loving everything Norm McDonald, man. He's just unapologetically funny. I just... I just... If anything, I'm also just inspired by him. Like, it encourages me to... It's when he points out things that are just true and factual and people hate it. Like, I'm inspired to just be like, that's what it is? And it's a funny thing to laugh at facts offending us. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Screw that. I know you all came here to watch me watch this, so let's... Let's do that, but before we do, like and subscribe if you like this, and I just want to thank y'all for sharing your passion for Norm with me, because this has been a fun, fun rabbit hole to go down. Is that what you say? English is my second language, by the way, so sayings, idioms, like, I don't really know them. Like, I think I know them, but I always get them wrong, so if I do, correct me if I'm wrong in the, in the comment. Let's go, Norm. Eh? Do you have a dog? Do I have a dog? Yeah. Well, you know what they say. <laughs> Nature abhors a vacuum. I think that was Newton. Nature abhors a vacuum. But so does my dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a dog. Dance like no one is watching. Sing like no one is listening. Love like you've never been hurt. And fuck like a goddamn retard. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> okay, some of y'all have been telling me, explaining to me in Best best of Jokes Part 1, when he was making fun of like burning the books, it, it's like a thing to her. I don't get the, I don't get the reference of the context. What is the reference of context with this? Like, let me, let me know y'all. I know I could Google search this crap, but... I've kind of I have preferred learning about Norm and his history through through you guys, but anyway. Still booking the store. You're booking the comedy store? Yeah. Where you can buy comedy. It's not that kind of store. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't do a lot of I don't like to sell my comedy. <laughs> it, again, it's not an actual store. That's just the name. It's a, it's a, just a comedy club. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like this. I like the theme that we're that this one has. A man in Taiwan reportedly cut off his own penis to win an argument with his wife. That reminds me of that episode of Everybody Loves Raymond, where Raymond forgot Deborah's birthday and had to cut his own cock off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a Las Vegas woman was arrested after hiding a stolen Rolex in her vagina. Okay. Well, now Bruce Jenner's just gone too far. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Michelle Obama's book. Yo! <laughs> the cameo on the ABC show Nashville. With this and her appearance on iCarly, I think Michelle's ready to start appearing in films. May I suggest my favorite film series, Black Ass Fuckers? Oh my god! <laughs> That's Sorry. too dirty. Let's do no, a nice not... joke to clean it up. <laughs> Opinions are like assholes. Neil Patrick Harris wants to stub. <laughs> 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 I should easily let me read this ahead. Oh, gosh. Well, how about this? College freshman Scott Damaro, Larry, set a new world record by using his head to bust 142 eggs, and he now officially holds a place in the Guinness Book of Fucking Retards. <laughs> <laughs> Organist Ray Manzarek died this week at the age of 74. The curse Whoa. of the door. Oh, boy. Hazards of watching this. I had to pa I had to hit pause. My bad. Jeez. I got mad. Um, fun fact. I forgot who told who said this to me. But I know we can't say it, so I won't say it. The R word was the word that they made that, that they started using to avoid the, saying idiot. Because idiot was too offensive. That could be true, it could be wrong, but anyway. So I don't really get offended to the, with our word jokes, FYI. Y'all, y'all who have been watching, y'all know I am sensitive to a few, few jokes, but I don't care. I still think he's hilarious. 
But anyway. Doors. Uh, Zarek died this week at the age of 74. The curse of the doors. <laughs> Maybe I Do missed you the know rest. what Adam Egert has in common with a guitar player? Adam Egert has in common with a guitar player. Now I don't know. They both love fingering minors. Now, okay. Come oh, on. God. Come on. <laughs> because of droughts all over Europe, scientists are predicting a global shortage of olive oil. Soon the world will know how Popeye felt after the death of his wife. <laughs> Olive oil. <laughs> I just laugh. Remember how fucking skinny and ugly she is, and they'd uh, always want to fuck her. Uh, bi- <laughs> oh boy. And how big? Yeah, Big Ethel would chase Jughead. <laughs> well, let's not get into Jughead. <laughs> I'm sorry, I went too far. I really only know him from a scene in Friends. Yeah. Right. You got you you got your husband a hooker? That guy. That's all I know him from. My bad. My favorite George Miller joke. I played a great club here in the city. Catch a rising star. Boy, that's a good club. But across the street they have a tough club. Have you been there? Snub a bombing has been. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday was bring your daughter to work day, which was awkward for Adam Egot. Do you know how hard it is to fuck a horror with her kid on the edge of the bed playing Nintendo? Oh my goodness that is gracious. A hard job. That's what she said. Thomas Sorry. Edison invented the light bulb, but I invented the light bulb up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was ahead of his time. <laughs> Uh, the guy who did the voice of Charlie Brown, he was arrested for stalking his girlfriend this week. He also said the next time Lucy grabs away the football, he's going to cut that bitch. <laughs> Pain and Gain, the new movie directed by Michael Bay. Reviewers are calling it everything from shit to fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, I remember I was pretty psyched for, for Pain and Gain just because, like, that's when I was, like, it, it came out when I was starting to get, like, really into, like, lifting and crap. Sorry, I'm fixing this. Um, it is true. It's not a good movie. Like, but that's funny. Uh, If tampons are called sanitary napkins, how unsanitary must regular napkins be? (laughs) Oh, boy. (laughs) Is it like George Carlin doing that or something? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look at this one. Uh, Researchers in uh, Bermuda believe they may have uh, finally solved part of the mystery surrounding Amelia Earhart's disappearance. She was a bad pilot. Uh, Mm Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. (laughs) It's not my fault. Bermuda. She didn't go down anywhere near Bermuda. What do you call a gay boxer? Huh? What do you call a gay boxer? No McDonald. No. <laughs> <laughs> the Blue Man Group has been forced by... Mike Tyson got jokes. The federal government to hire an orange man and a purple woman. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. I was raised in a broken home. My father was a drunk carpenter. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> One of the most popular documentaries on Netflix is Jiro. Jiro Dreams of Sushi? Jiro Dreams of Sushi. I've seen that. It's very good. Yeah, it's a fantastic yeah. documentary. One of the least popular documentaries, Jiro Nightmares. <laughs> Come on, baby. Jiro Nightmares me. of Acerin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where do you get these jokes? Ah, some guy. <laughs> <laughs> This is an actual joke. Norm joke. This is an actual joke. It's kind of a weird feeling watching the Flintstones lately. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, watching the Flintstones. Sure. Yeah, now, yeah. How so? With their Stone yeah. Age drive-in movies and yeah. their caveman bowling, it just seems so dated. It does, in a way. I do. In moments like that, yeah, it's not, sometimes I don't get them. But I love how much fun all his guests have with him like they clearly everyone clearly loves him right and it's awesome when, uh, easy as pie easy as pie you know what's not easy as pie baking and fucking actual pie <laughs> <laughs> does it say actually fucking in there now do you know how to be ed mcmahon during this well you have to read okay. the, i have to I'd... mount baldy <laughs> mount baldy 
Mount Baldy. Mount, ba Mount Baldy. Yeah, Mount Baldy. <laughs> After Johnny Carson. <laughs> what did you old Brenner's wife do on their wedding night? <laughs> <laughs> there's one. There's one that's good for you. Right I used to think revenge was a dish best served cold, but then I realized it meant getting back at somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Some gold-plated chains would make a nice retirement gift for a very, very good slave. <laughs> <laughs> well, this Are you serious? <laughs> well, We've. I've. That was in another joke for another video we did, which is. Oh, this was written. Are you serious? <laughs> this was written years did ago. Did you just write that? I didn't write did it. Did you just say that? No, I read it. Yes. Do you know the Harlem, sh the Harlem Shake? <laughs> yeah, I've seen it on okay. every single. Commercial. You've seen it. Then you'll appreciate this joke. I remember back when the Harlem Shake was just a back black fella holding me upside down off a fire escape, <laughs> trying to collect his money. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a really good one. I like that one. Oh, dude, that. <laughs> Remember the good old days back when MILF stood for mentally ill ladies I'd like to fuck? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> right. Anyway, do you have a writing staff? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have Steve O'Donnell. Steve, these are really good. Um. Jenny McCarthy recently got engaged to former new kid on the block, Donnie Wahlberg. They plan to marry on Retard Island. <laughs> oh, gosh. Percy is your dad? Yeah. I didn't I'd, remember that. I'd never heard anyone else's wow. name, Percy. Any remember person when you came and visited the set of, uh, Andy, of uh, Man on the Moon? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and, and, I was also in the film. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I like to put it. <laughs> I don't know who's in that movie. I know I'm not the most attractive. I know I'm not the most attractive man in the world. As a matter I mean, of when, fact, when women look at me, I can tell they're overdressing me with their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> His girlfriend, he had a what do you call that list? I love Bobby Lee. Oh, the uh, if yeah, you can you a freebie or whatever. A freebie. Yeah. Uh, so he picked Angela. Sorry, I just got distracted oh, by. The uh, check this out. He, His beard. And his hair connect. How about that? Yeah, you can, you can a freebie or whatever. A freebie. Yeah. So he picked Angelina Jolie, and Jennifer Aniston, his girlfriend, picked the milkman. <laughs> I don't know. Are there any yeah, we milk? still got a milkman. I don't think there's any milkman. We <laughs> rip all these from. When Steve I Allen's die, man. I want to be cremated, and my ashes cremated? spread eagle and fucked, fucked hard like a fucking <laughs> real tramp. Wow, come on, man. <laughs> Why didn't make me say that? Wow. Jesus Christ. I've noticed that Hotel Rwanda has a great score on Rotten Tomatoes, but their Yelp reviews are terrible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, growing up, I had a dog with an eating disorder. He wouldn't eat any of my homework. The World Cup has arrived, so if you're wondering why your local bar smells, it's because all of the dirty foreigners. How many comedians does it take to screw in a light bulb? I mean. Two, want to do it, and the other guy to go, how long has he been up there? <laughs> a Swedish Bond girl, Britt Eklund, told Piers Morgan this week that she was seduced by Warren Beatty after the legendary Lothario took her to an X-rated movie for their first date. This is what I have to say about that. Hey, Warren, stop stealing my moves. <laughs> oh, God. Mickey Mantle knew two things, drinking and playing drunk baseball. <laughs> 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 a Miami, Florida pimp is in custody after forcing a 13-year-old prostitute to have his name tattooed on her eyelids when she threatened to run away from him. Roman Thomas III faces charges of human trafficking, false imprisonment, lewd and lascivious exhibition, and delivery of a controlled substance to a child. You know, I know the scriptures say, judge not lest ye be judged, but you know, I'm just going to come out and say it. This Roman Thomas III guy, this guy's a real jerk. <laughs> That's one of the best I've heard, bro. It didn't get me like the Harlem Shake one, but that's pretty dang good. He's laughing. He's crying yeah. laughing.
Oh, okay, that's not him. Okay, I was wondering. What's going on here? I know the scriptures say, "Judge not." Sure. Real, 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 real. What are we looking at here? Jerk. The viewers are calling it, calling it, calling it everything from from shit. Someone's to just doing a mix shit. of. <laughs> Yo, that was funny. What I love is like. Norm Macdonald has to have some of the most loyal fans ever. And I love that because. His fans are loyal because they just know that he's actually deep down in the. He's just a good person, man, and he's trying to. I don't know. I feel like I feel like his comedy. He's trying to take us out of this. Like, let's be offended about everything and raise our consciousness. Just, like I don't know. Just man, just enjoy life more, man. Right? Like, gosh, it's so good. What? He's the man. Bless him. Bless y'all for introducing these to me if y'all wanted me to react to that music there at the end sorry but this video is already 16 minutes long so we're gonna get a stop here like subscribe man i love y'all more norm mcdonald reactions on their way